Alrighty, we are lucky enough to be joined by Von Foray Kofu striker Peter Utaka. Peter, let's first start with the good stuff. Happy early birthday. You're 39 tomorrow, but you looked about 19 out there. How did it feel? Ah, it feels fantastic. You know, it's, uh, uh, I couldn't ask for well, a better present than the, the goal I just got today. So, yeah, but you know, it's, it's a bit of, um, you know, sweet and you know, sweet and bitter because uh, I would have, you know, wanted to to have the gold instead of the silver. But, you know, it is what it is. Of course, but we live life in moments, and what a moment that was to hear the Kofu fans behind you like that. What did it feel like to be back in that shirt? Man, that's, um, you know, I felt, you know, from the moment I came here, I felt at home. You know, I've, you know, I've played here before, you know, and all the fans and everyone along the club know what I did for them. And, uh, you know, getting back and first game banging in the goal, and in front of 50,000 people, that's amazing, bro. It's amazing. It was an, a, a performance worthy of a national stadium like that. So obviously the result, not what you guys wanted, but you can take a lot of confidence from that going against the J1 champions like that heading into the J2 season. How do you see that? How do you, what do you look at in, in terms of uh, what you guys are facing this year? Um, what does that J2 sort of uh, challenge look like for you guys? I mean, given Marinos... Uh, a tough game like this gives a whole lot of um, confidence for our for our group because you know we've got so many young players, and I think f from this game, there's the, they will get a lot of confidence there, you know to you know to to go on to our next week game, which is we are playing at home, and which is another difficult game. But I mean, seeing what we did today, I think um, we should be you know proud of ourselves. And you know, keep our heads up, and uh, hopefully, you know, go and check the videos and see what we can improve and what we can do better. And if we do all that, um, hopefully next week, you know, with the experience we got from today's game, you know, we can bring it, we can bring it to to our next week opening game. Absolutely. Now I know you're still beating the young guys in training every day in sprints. I know that about you. But what do you tell them, like, after a game like this in terms of keeping their confidence? Uh, they, I'm sure they look to you in the locker room as a leader. I mean, you can see from their faces and their heads down and all that. You can see the passion and, uh, and the motivation that they had. But, um, you know, this is football, you know. Um, without, without taking anything away from Marinos, they are the best team in Japan. They're the strongest team in Japan. And, you know, you have to remind them, like, you know, this, um, we gave our best. And... If you're playing football or whatever you do in life, if you give your 110 percent, you don't have to be disappointed anymore because I mean that's nothing else you can do. But if you cheat, eh, that's a problem. <laughs> Absolutely, effort is the only thing within exactly. our control. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. When you give when you give effort and you give everything you have, you know whatever happens happens. You know because life itself don't give us every time what we want. So you just have to take and fight for everything. That's a great message to leave off on. I hope that life does give you a very happy 39th birthday. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you for joining us, and good luck so this much. season. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Great to see you.